Hello viewers, welcome to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I will be discussing about the regression equation. Here, as you can see, I have selected a numerical, which is which we are asked to solve on the taking the mean of x and y series. And I felt like it would be more effective to first move toward the introduction of the regression equation and then to solve the numerical. So without any further delay, let's get started. So on discussing about the introduction to regression equation, we come to our the type of regression equation. There are mainly two types of regression equation and the first one is regression regression equation of y on x and the second one is regression equation of x on y and the regression equation of y on x help us to find the variation variation in y when when the changes in x is given similarly regression equation of x on y help us to find the variation variation in x when the changes in y is given now time to learn some formulas based on the regression equation so let's move to other formulas now so here we have regression equation of x on y it has a simple formula we have here regression equation of x on y so the formula is x minus x bar times r times summation x by summation y times y minus y bar or this y we can write it as capital y and this is our regression coefficient and it is denoted by bx as it is regression equation of x and y so we can write this term as bxy equals to r times summation x upon summation y which is also equals to summation xy by summation y square now similarly we time for regression equation of y on x so let's write it down here regression equation regression equation of y on x and the equation is similar to this we have y on x so y minus y bar which y bar represents the mean here equals to r times summation y, y by summation x times x minus x bar and here again this is the uh, regression coefficient on if when y on x so we will write here b y x equals to r times summation y upon summation x and this will be again given as summation x y by summation x square now uh, here comes one more coefficient that is correlation coefficient and it is denoted by small r here this is small r denotes correlation coefficient let me write it out down here c o r r e l a t i o n correlation coefficient and r is given by r equals to root under b x y times b y x now after getting the introduction about the sum about the regression equations let's solve the numerical now so let us draw a table here and in the first table write down the element of x that is 1 2 3 4 5 and calculate summation x here 
summation x means add all these terms so we will have here 15 now calculate the mean of x so we have the formula as we are finding calculating the mean since from class 8 so summation x or oh sorry mean x bar is x bar denotes the mean of x mean x equals to summation x upon n so we will have here 15 upon n means number of items so number of items here is 1 2 3 4 5 so it will be 5 and the mean x will be going is going to be 3 now after getting the mean x we need to calculate here the new value of x let it denote by x equals to x minus x bar and here this is our this x and x bar we have already calculated so subtract 1 minus 3 then we get here minus 2 similarly 2 minus 3 will be equals to minus 1 similarly 3 minus 3 is going to be 0 and 4 minus 3 is going to be 1 and 5 minus 3 is going to be 2 and here in this video I will I am solving the numerical using this formula and later I will add another video in which I will be solving based upon the uh, this sigma or that is it denotes our standard deviation later I will be adding the another video on this method or using this formula so here if I am using this formula then I am requiring here summation y square and uh, for x for regression of y and x we have here x square means we need to find calculate the x square here so our next table will be about x square after getting the new value of x calculate x square and for x square it is going to be 4 1 0 1 4 and calculate here summation x square then it is going to be 10 now after calculating x square time for the element of y now here I have copied the element of y and calculated the value of summation y. Now time to calculate the mean of y. Then we have a formula again here y mean equals to summation y upon n. And we have got the value of summation y as 40. So write down here 40 by n means number of term here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So divide it by 5 then we will get here 8. Now after getting the value of summation y calculate the new value of y writing y equals to y minus y bar so now subtract here y minus y bar means 2 minus 8 equals to minus 6 similarly 5 minus 8 equals to minus 3 11 minus 8 equals to positive 3 8 minus 8 equals to 0 and 14 minus 8 equals to 6 now after getting the new value of y we need to calculate the y square as we have calculated here x square so let's do that now after calculating the value of y square as per the formula we will be requiring the requiring the value of summation x y also so we need to calculate the value of x y here so make a table here x y and for x y we need to multiply the new value of x and y that is minus 2 and minus 6 then it is going to be 2 well and minus 1 times minus 3 is going to be 3 similarly 3 times 0 is going to be 0 and 0 times 1 is going to be 0 and 2 times 6 equals to 2 well now add this we will have here 27 now let's write down the formula and find out the final equations so here comes regression equation of x on y then we have the formula here x minus x bar equals to r times sigma x by sigma y times y minus y bar and here we have we are calculating this by calculating the mean so this sigma represents here a standard deviation so we have another formula also for the coefficient of regression then we will rewrite the equation as x minus x bar equals to summation x y by summation y square times y minus y bar now put down the value here x minus 
and the value of x bar is 3 here equals to summation x y is 27 by summation y square here then we uh, I need to calculate the value of summation y square here summation y square that is going to be 90 now after putting the value of summation y square equals to 90 here and y minus and the y value of y bar is 8 now from here we will have x minus 3 equals to 27 by 90 equals to 0 0.3 times y minus 8 now from here we will have equation x minus 3 equals to 0 0.3 y minus 2.4 now solve this or rearranging we will have here x equals to 0 0.3 y plus 0 0.6 now time to time to calculate the regression equation of y on x so let's write it down here regression and the equation is y minus y bar equals to r times summation y upon summation x times x minus x bar and rearranging we will have here y minus y bar equals to summation x y by summation x square times x minus x bar now put down the value here we have the already got the value of summation y equals to 8 so y minus 8 equals to summation x y equals to 27 by summation x square means 10 times x minus x bar is 3 so we will have here y minus 8 equals to 2.7 times x minus 3 now y minus 8 equals to 2.7 x minus 8.1 and finally y equals to 2.7 x minus 0 0.1 and these two this is the equation or uh, regression equation of uh, x on y and this is the regression equation of y write it capital y capital y capital Y again here capital Y I am extremely sorry for this and uh, and finally let us calculate the regression coefficient also correlation coefficient sorry because in in some cases we may be asked to calculate the regression equation as well as correlation coefficient so we have correlation coefficient r equals to root under b x y times b y x and we have already got the value of that b x y equals to summation x y by summation y square times summation x y by summation y square sorry x square so on putting down the value we have we will have here 2.7 into 0 0.3 which will be finally be equals to 0 0.9 and this much is the equation i hope this video was helpful to all of you guys and once again thanks for watching this video if you if you like this video then do share with it with your friend and do subscribe to my channel thanks have a nice day